If you are a content creator and would like to translate your videos like this and do or do dubbing for different languages to support the reach of your videos to different regions and different viewers, you can translate it using AI or you can just dubbing the video and do the voiceover using AI using our service video subtitle. Come. So if you would like to learn more, or if it's not only if you are a content creator, also if you are like a normal user, you would like to translate your favorite videos. Let's say you have the education in videos or like news, you would like to translate it. You can use this mobile application or use the web view of video subtitle. Come, so you can translate videos like this and do the dubbing. Hello, my name is Amer. This video is translated and dubbing using videosubtitle.com website. You can do the same by visiting the website or download our mobile application on Google Play Store. It's called Video Subtitle Generator. Okay, once you download the application, you can sign up for free trial, so you can translate up to two to three videos like every week for free. But if you need more, you need to sign up for premium account. So let's demonstrate how you can translate videos to any language. Once you sign up and log to your account on videosubtitle.com, you can import the videos from your mobile application or from your laptop. So once you import it to your mobile application, you have this option to create video subtitle. So you can create a video subtitle. Okay, to translate the video, you have two options. Even like, you let the system decide what language the video is already spoken. So if you know the language I prefer, just you select the language. I know this video language is Arabic. So you can just select Arabic Jordanian as an example, then translate it to English. But if you don't know what's the language, you just keep it as auto. And this will allow you, the system will just pick the language and translate it to any language you want. So let's say I selected the language as auto and I want this video in English. So select English. You have this option to enable dubbing or disable dubbing. So if you disable the dubbing, that means the video will be translated only as a text. So you can download the VTT file and you can edit the text and edit the subtitle inside the video. But if you select the option for dubbing, you will have two versions of the videos. You have the original version of the video where you can edit the text and you have the dubbing version. So let's go ahead and generate a translated video with dubbing. For this one, we hit generate. All right, and this is the video. After a few seconds, you can see I have two options. I can watch the video as an original, okay? And I have option to watch the video as a dubbing version. When I watch the videos in dubbing vision, that AI agent will be talking on behalf of the same user. And also I can see all the translated text here. If I found something that is not like what I expected, or I need to change the text, I can just click here and just change it. And this will allow changing the subtitle in the video. And after changing, I just hit save, and this will save my new subtitle edit. Also, if you can just, you can edit the, the subtitle timing, so that, for example, this subtitle I wanted to start, like, from here. Or I can just extend it so you can just also edit the subtitle segment. Start and end. All right. So after reviewing everything, if I like just download the videos with hard subtitle or dubbing, I just hit this download button and this will allow me to select many options. If I need just subtitles, subtitle to show at the bottom, I just go there. If I need it to the top, I just put it at the top and I can select the and I can select the, la the also I can select the subtitle, fonts, and animation. And animation. So, so if I need it, like for example, this is for animation, I need it to fit in. All right. So you can see it's already fit in. Okay. And also you can select whatever font you want to do. All right. This font is good for me. And font color, I like yellow. All right. Once I'm ready and happy with video output I want, I can just hit create, and that will generate video with text on it. And also, if you select the dubbing option from there, that will have the voiceover in English.
Like, let's say if this video in Arabic, you will have voiceover in English. English. 